Good day, my name is Martin Treadaway. I am a director and shareholder of New Dimension Technology in Cape Town, South Africa. And I um, work with uh, Shola in Nigeria, who he is our reseller. And I am going to show you on his behalf the how you can benefit from a BIM system of on-screen measurement. Firstly, I have set up the conventional uh, system and we're going to measure the carpets in this house and we'll complete the area in the normal fashion and we now have uh, 27 square meters plus as you will read we have a length of 2973 which represents the skirting or the corners uh, for the ceiling above that is how we do the um, 2d vector now I'm going to introduce to you the um, boom aspect of that is the drawing that we are dealing with and it is uh, if we take off the transparency it's a total 3d model of the house we intend to build or measure quantities for and then build so I will show you now how we take off the quantity we will then just go to dimensions and we'll go to the import button and we'll import dimensions using BIM template. That's a simple process and the template we're going to use is the Revit General and I open that and there it is measuring that entire job in a matter of seconds. It's unpacking all the the models in there with their quantities and there we have it we measured our floor coverings on the 3d which took about as long as it took to measure all of these elements all right so if you wish to see for instance floors uh, you click the floors and we'll put a switch on the transparent and you will see all of the, the, the concrete floors that, that have been there and if you click on that you can isolate the folder and all you will see on your screen are the various slabs and if you click on them you will see the uh, the various slabs as they stand and you would then measure them. One has to be uh, careful as to these are not all concrete this seems to be a, a deck that's indicated but they used the same um, process to do it so you have to the quantity surveyor has to and that is a roof and the quantity has to uh, still has to determine where which goes where so you wouldn't just slam all of that into concrete unless it said that it was concrete and there is the majority of the concrete 200 millimeter concrete slabs but we will move on to the QS plus side of it and I've set up bills of quantities here. We go to the uh, that was set up under that demo, and we will then update the information in the DIM. And we will say next.
uh, as that will draw bring all the measured items from the drawing into QS Plus to attach it to the bill. All right, that process is complete and all of the information, measurement information that came through, again we can look at our floors and there they all are that we measured and we must remember that this is timber decking, that's concrete floor, generally they are described, that's a, that's a concrete slab plus a roof and that is all and that's stepping stones so one has to be careful as to what one drags across and I've set up the various trades And so we will then pick another example and we will go to in situ concrete and in situ concrete generally um, reinforced concrete and slabs and we will save that and hide and now we'll see that we have the volume and if we look across at our floors we'll see we have volume so only certain of those go across the, uh, to the The slabs, that one goes across, and this one will go across, and that one will go across, Obviously, uh, in the um, SMM7, which I'm using, the slab thicknesses have a part to play, and some of these are thinner than the, well, they all fall into the 150 um, etc. So uh, you would then have your concrete and if you wish to see your dimensions that you brought across you click on this button and you'll see all the dimensions that have been carried across. And then we go to print bills. Open the bills of quantities. And there are our bills of quantities. concrete and the concrete we just measured. So that is a brief uh, look at the 
workings of BIM with QS Plus, which I hope will inspire you to come online with me where I can give you a full demonstration and you may ask me questions and we can see that how QS Plus will work for you. Thank you for your time.